Now, Volkswagen's India offensive next year onwards is essentially going to be based on a Skoda SUV coming into India first. And it's going to be the Kamiq that you see behind me. Not exactly this particular car because this is the European version. What we're going to get is a more Indianized version of this car. This, of course, is based on the MQB A0 platform. What we're going to get is an A0 adapted for India. But essentially, it's going to look like this now. It's in a nice, brilliant shade of green. Very typical of the Skoda colors, green and black and white. And let's take, take you around the car a little bit. Let's show you what it's all about. And then, of course, let's get into the interior, tell you what's under the bonnet, so you get a better understanding of things. Now, let's start off with that exterior design. Now, very typically Skoda SUV-like, split uh, daytime running light console on the top, headlamp on the bottom. It looks really cool with these chunky square LED, sort of uh, almost bejeweled in a sense. A uh, very typical Skoda grille also in the front, uh, like the Octavia gets and the Superb gets. Uh, this particular one is running on some nice big wheels too, multi-spoke ones. Uh, I don't know, of course, what the Indian spec is going to be like next year, but this in this spec looks quite nice. Now, this particular car is based, very similar, shares a lot of stuff with the VW T-Cross that's across the aisle there. Uh, but of course, this is a larger car and that's, that's what it's all about. It's been uh, sort of made a little longer to maximize that interior space. Now moving to the rear, of course, it's got that uh, new Skoda nomenclature that you see on the likes of the Scala hatchback. It doesn't have the badger, it has the SKODA lettering all spread out. And of course, the Kamik badge on the bottom here. Again, typically like the Karok and the uh, Kodiak, it's got this sort of very sharp tail light with these lovely LED little bits in, in them. Uh, again, so much detail in the tail lamp itself. That's a, that's a really cool Skoda thing that's happening right now. Let's uh, quickly open the boot and see how much space is there. This, of course, has an electronic tailgate, uh, likely to make it to India too, considering the fact that they're going to pack it jam full with a whole bunch of equipment. And it's quite large, about 400 liters of boot space, very spacious at the back. But let's uh, move into the interior and let's tell you all about that. Now, in terms of an interior, the Kamiq isn't revolutionary. It isn't something that we haven't seen before, but it's nicely laid out. It's a very clean design. It's got these, uh, it's got the sort of climate controls uh, switch on the bottom with those very typical aluminium knobs. It's got a DSG gearbox, of course, in this conventional handbrake, very typical Skoda steering wheel. And in this particular car, it's got the uh, sort of uh, all digital uh, instrument cluster too. A uh, nice sort of horizontally mounted screen here, these uh, capacitive touch buttons on the side and here. A uh, very responsive screen too. But that said, it again isn't something that's very, very revolutionary. But what people will like, is the fact that it's simple, it does the job, and of course, the quality of a lot of the things here, like the plastics, even the little uh, sort of soft touch plastics on the top, and even this nice sort of smoothish panel, which sort of apes carbon fiber, but it isn't. It's all very nice to touch. Now, this of course has a cloth seats, and it's got these lovely sport seats too, almost like the ones on the Octavia RS in India. But uh, in India, you might get a no, sort of leather interior option because this is gonna be a more premium SUV offering, and you're gonna get a more sort of comfortable set of bucket seats. That said, let's move to the back, see how much space is in there because, of course, it's got that extended wheelbase, so it should have a lot more space in the rear. Now, I have pushed those front seats all the way back to see how much space this actually is left over. And I might say, even with these spot bucket seats up front, which aren't really well contoured, now the Indian seats probably will be, uh, you still have a lot of space. You've got about three inches of space here, so very comfortable. And the rear seat itself is very nicely hunkered down. It's uh, got some nice thigh support. It's got a really nice backrest. Uh, probably not very comfortable for the middle passenger here, but for two people, it's definitely going to be a nice, sporty little back seat to sit in. Again, this might not be the Indian spec, but uh, as an overall spec, sort of represent what the car looks like, it's quite cool. And you've got heated seats at the back, of course. That is a feature which might not make it to India, but for Europe, it's something of a necessity nowadays. Now, this particular Kamiq under the hood has a one-liter TSI engine, but we don't think that's going to make it to India anytime soon. It's going to be bigger engines in for India, probably the 1.8 petrol or the two-liter petrol and the two-liter diesel engine. But it's going to have a manual and automatic gearbox option too, and uh, it's going to launch sometime next year. So, although we won't speculate on what engines and gearboxes will be offered. We definitely can't wait to drive it when this makes it to Indian shores sometime mid next year.